Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Bridge Bhushan Mistra, Microsoft MVP. String manipulation is a very common task in our day to day programming. And believe me, it is used in one of the worst ways and cause of major performance bottlenecks. In this video, we'll look various ways of working with string manipulation. Strings are handled in two ways in C-Sharp. One is immutable and other is mutable. System.String is immutable while string builder is mutable. So what is immutable and mutable? Immutable means the same object cannot be modified itself in memory. While mutable is just reverse. Means the same object can be modified. Let's see it pictorially. Let's say a string name equal to bridge. So what it does? It finds the memory location for a string name and assign the value bridge to it and name references to that memory location. But when we write name equal to name plus Mishra, the addition takes place and added object is assigned to a new memory location and now the name references to the new memory location. And earlier memory location that was containing bridge gets unreferenced and kept in memory until garbage collector runs. It shows that a string is immutable and when the object is modified gets new memory location. But when we write where sb name equal to new string builder a memory location is assigned to that object and sb name references that sb name dot append bridge updates the same memory location that sb name references sb name dot append mishra again appends the same memory location that sb name references this makes a huge performance enhancement while doing with string manipulation a lot. Let's try to see this via an example. In this example, I have taken a string a to z of 26 characters and adding the same to a string for 10,000 times using for loop so that we can see a significant time difference. First, I have done using normal string class then I have used string builder. I have also calculated the time for each operation to measure this. So let's run this code. So if we see the output then we find that the string takes around 800 milliseconds while string builder is almost negligible. This shows the huge performance improvement. But string builder is not best at our scenarios. If we have already defined array of strings and we require to concatenate those strings using some delimiter which is a very likely case then it is best to use string.join. Here I have array of strings. If I want to join this, these strings using some delimiter then I can use string.join. Here my array just contains 5 elements. For the example, we can have thousands of elements. So, how it performs better? When we use string.join, it looks all the strings to work in the array and find the required memory space and then do the operation by copying all the data. No more operation is required. While in string builder, when we create instance, it find a memory location and append each string to it one by one. Now you have got a good idea when to use string, string builder and string.join. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.